Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering the best VPNs for Android. So whether you're trying to stay more private on public Wi-Fi, unlock streaming content while traveling, or just want something reliable on your phone, I'll show you which VPNs are actually worth using. And just a quick heads up, if you're interested in any of the VPNs I mentioned, you'll find links for them in the description below, along with any current discounts I could find. So let's get into the VPNs themselves, because what works well on Android might be a bit different from what you'd pick for a desktop. The first one I'd recommend is ExpressVPN, which continues to be one of the most reliable options for Android, especially if you're after something fast, private, and easy to use. Connection times are nearly instant, usually under a second, and the app itself is super straightforward. You just open it, tap connect, and you're good to go. Express has over 3,000 servers across 105 countries, so you've got a wide range of locations to choose from, whether you're traveling or just want to access a different Netflix library. It's also great for bypassing firewalls on public Wi-Fi or in more restricted regions regions like the UAE or Turkey. Now on the security side, ExpressVPN uses AES-256 encryption, has a built-in kill switch, and runs on its own protocol called Lightway, which is not only secure, but also better on battery life. And for Android users in the US, they've recently added something called Identity Defender, which monitors for things like social security or ID leaks and includes up to a million dollars in identity restoration coverage. The next one is NordVPN, and this is a great pick if speed is your top priority, or if you're someone who wants access to a wider range of tools. Their Nordlinks protocol is what really helps here. It consistently ranks among the fastest, especially for things like streaming, downloading, or gaming on your phone. They've also got the largest server network among the top providers, with over 7,900 servers in 165 countries. And on Android, Nord is especially strong when it comes to bypassing restrictions or network blocks, thanks to its obfuscated servers and the Nord Whisper protocol, which was designed to keep you connected even in places with heavy censorship. Now when it comes to features, Nord has a lot to offer. There's an app-level kill switch, threat protection that blocks malware and ads before they reach your device, and several specialty servers including Onion over VPN, Double VPN, and dedicated servers for peer-to-peer -peer traffic. So if you're downloading larger files or torrenting on Android, this makes the process more secure. You also get access to Nord's Identity Protection Service, which covers up to $100,000 in cyber extortion expenses and gives you access to X expert help if your data is ever compromised. So overall, Nord is a great choice if you want a mix of performance, advanced features, and better value across longer-term plans. And then there's Surfshark, which is the best option if you're looking for something more budget-friendly, but still wants solid performance and privacy features. Even though it's usually priced lower than the others, it holds up surprisingly well in terms of speed, reliability, and overall security. You get access to over 3,200 servers across 100 countries, and one of the standard out perks with Surfshark is that you can use it on unlimited devices at once. So if you've got a bunch of phones, tablets, or even want to share your account with family, this is a huge plus. The Android app is clean and easy to navigate, and you still get all the essentials, like AES-256 encryption, a kill switch, and built-in protection against ads, trackers, and malware. There's also a feature called camouflage mode that helps bypass tougher firewalls or blocks, which is especially useful if you're in a more restricted region. For streaming, Surfshark works well across most platforms platforms and gives you access to region-locked content with just a few taps. It runs on the WireGuard protocol too, which helps keep speeds fast and consistent. Now it's not quite as fast as Nord or Express, but for the price, it's well ahead of most other VPNs out there. So if you're after the most value for your money, especially if you've got multiple devices or you're sharing with others, Surfshark is a great way to go. Now let's quickly touch on why a VPN is especially useful on Android. Because while VPNs work across all your devices, there are a few reasons they're especially useful to have on your phone. First, Android users tend to connect to public Wi-Fi more often, whether it's at airports, coffee shops, hotels, or restaurants, and that's where your data is most at risk. A good VPN encrypts your internet traffic, so even if someone's trying to snoop on the network, they won't be able to see anything you're doing, like your logins, messages, or payment info. It's also really useful if you're in a place that blocks certain apps or websites like social media, streaming platforms, or news sources. With a VPN, you can get around those blocks easily since your connection is routed through a server in a different country. And then if you travel or just want access to content that's only available elsewhere, like different Netflix libraries, live sports, or websites that show different pricing based on your location, a VPN lets you change your virtual location in a couple of taps. So, for example, if a show is only available on UK Netflix, just switch to a UK server and you'll be able to watch it. So whether it's about staying secure, unlocking content, or just having more control over over your connection, a 
VPN on Android gives you a lot of flexibility without much effort. So when it comes to my top picks for Android, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, they each offer something a little different depending on what you're after. Whether that's faster speeds, more advanced features, or just better value for longer term plans, any one of these can be a solid fit depending on your needs. And just a reminder, if you want to take a closer look at any of these or check out the latest discounts, you'll find all the links for those down in the description. So hopefully you found this guide helpful, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.